In this video, we're gonna be covering 10 different Discord bots that you're gonna to need to add to your server. Let's hit that intro. What's up guys, Ryan B here. This is Right Tech Gaming and in this video we're talking about the 10 best Discord bots you should really add to your server. Now this list is not gonna be organized in any specific way. I'm more grouping these into a few different groups because a lot of these bots have a certain functionality to them that I really like over the others, but they're all really good bots. So one is not necessarily better than the other because they all kind of do different things. So the third groups that I'm gonna organize these into are one, multi-purpose bots, two, some bots that kind of just do some fun things, and lastly, specific specialized bots that do one specific thing very well. And if you guys do find this video helpful or useful in any way, make sure you hit a like on the video. It goes a long way to spread these videos out to other people across YouTube and really helps me out. Also think about subscribing to the channel if you like content like this. And if you guys get to the end of the video and you wanna kind of cover any of these topics in more detail, I do stream myself live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Link is in the description down below for that. Let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So kicking off this list, we are starting with the first category, which is the more fun and interactive style bots. And we have two bots in this category. The first one being a music bot by the name of Rhythm Bot. To me, this is by far the best musical bot that's on Discord, and it's well in over 10 million different Discord servers currently, so you can tell that a lot of people really like this bot. Now, obviously, it's got one focus, it plays music, plays really high quality music compared to other bots that don't play, in my opinion, in very high quality. This one does really high quality music. It's got a very nice lyrics feature where you can search up lyrics of the current song playing or search lyrics of other songs that currently aren't playing. Super nice to have in there in case anyone wasn't sure of the lyrics of a song. It's fun to have. Lastly, it's also got a very vast search function. So if you weren't 100% sure of the song you were looking for, you can search what you thought it was and get an understanding of exactly which song you're looking for from that list. Both really good features to have in a Discord music bot. And speaking of music, this is where I'm gonna hop in and tell you guys about RiFi, the new playlist that I've curated for you guys to play on any sort of platform that you're looking for. It's all royalty free, DMCA free music for you guys. Link is in the description down below. So in case you wanted some stuff for your streams, for your YouTube videos, really for any sort of platform that you want it on, it's free for you guys to use without having to worry about DMCA strikes, royalty issues, or anything like that. So if you're looking for some music for your videos, your streams, or anything, definitely go check that out. Right now we currently have more upbeat EDM style music on the playlist. There are more genres dropping soon. So keep an eye out for that. And again, link for that is in the description down below. So go check that out. So the next bot is another really fun and interactive bot you can add to your server to add a lot of more interactivity to your Discord server. And that's gonna be Pokey2, which is a replacement of the old bot, which was PokeCord, which was really popular amongst Discord servers. It basically allowed you to play a text-based version of Pokemon. So you can capture monsters, you can trade monsters, you can battle them, all that kind of stuff. Pokey2 actually takes all that, it's a replacement of that, but it also adds a bunch of new features on top of it, like gym battles and all that kind of stuff, missions, bunch of new stuff added on to Pokey2. So it's all the good stuff of the original one, added on some new functionality to make it even better than the original one. Now, because all the support had stopped for the original PokeCord, this is the best one currently to replace the old one. So that way you guys can still trade, battle, all that kind of stuff in Discord, just like the old PokeCord. So Pokey2 is definitely my recommendation to replace the PokeCord. Pretty interesting, adds a lot of functionality to your Discord, but it can add to a lot of spam, so just make sure you're careful with how you set this one up. So moving on over into the next category, which is gonna be moderation and all-purpose bots. Now we have three in this category, and all three of these kind of do the same overall function. However, I like each one for one specific purpose or a little bit more than that. So the first one we're gonna start with is going to be Dinobot, which is probably gonna be the first bot that you add into your Discord server just because how much stuff it can do. It's super nice, it's easy to set up, and it looks really, really good. So in the dashboard, you have a really good UI, probably one of the best of all Discord bots that I've ever seen. It's got a kind of server breakdown here, got some recent activity. You can set, change the bot settings right here. And down here, you got a bunch of different modules. Click through here. So you have all these different modules of random things that it can do, action logs, AFK things, auto message, auto mod, custom commands, auto rolls, pretty much just a little bit of everything with this bot. However, one of my favorite things that this bot has is the autoresponder. So if you click through into the autoresponder, you can see that I have a few things set up already. So when people trigger in the chat and they just say any of these triggers, then it'll give them this auto response here. So I have it set up to where if anyone asks for royalty free music, if they ask about Rifi, and it'll pop up with the trigger, giving them the link to the music. So that way it's super easy for them. And it also looks really techy on the user end because a lot of people do not expect this to just pop in with an auto response. Now you can do a lot of things with this auto response in case you get like one question that's commonly asked in your server and you don't want to respond to it every time. You can just have this auto responder trigger from that question and you get the answer to that question for anybody that asks. Super helpful in there and it looks really good in your server. So with Dinobot, you've got super clean UI, probably one of the best looking bots overall. 
easy to set up, and that autoresponder is super, super nice to have in your server. So up next is Me Seeks or Me Six, Me Seeks, however you pronounce this bot. And this bot I really like. It was one of the first ones that I had in my server when it comes to auto moderation, and it does a bunch of other functionality with it as well. So with auto moderation, which is how I have it set up in my server, you can do some prevent spammers from ruining your Discord and they saying things you don't want them to say. You can cut out certain keywords. You can stop people from spamming website links. You can do a bunch of different things with the auto moderation, which is super helpful and it's really easy to set up. The dashboard is also really simple with this bot. You have a bunch of different modules. You can just click and react. You can automatically trigger when people are live on certain platforms like Twitch or YouTube. Auto moderation is pretty vast. You can do a lot of things with it as well, like I mentioned. But the thing that I like most about this bot is the levels system that it has. So you can go in here and set this up to where when people chat, they start to gain experience and gain levels, which can trigger them to get into different roles or anything, depending on how you want the setup. You can also set in a level up announcement. You can change the experience rate, of course, if you have premium. You can also set up, which is pretty cool, the server ranking cards. So you can kind of set it up and look exactly how it looked like in the server. So when people are a certain level, certain rank, their experience level to the next level, it's just a super fast thing. And of course you can change which one you don't want it to gain experience in. But in my opinion, this is by far the best leveling system that gets people a little bit more engaged in your server. And it's super, super helpful to have. So that's why I like MeSeeks is definitely that level up thing, as well as the auto moderation that it has. Now, last up in the all purpose bots and moderation bots, we have YAG PDB, which is a mouthful, but it is the successor to MeSeeks. It's made by the same people. It's just a more updated version of MeSeeks to them. However, I do like to use both of them at the same time for a certain reason. Now, YAG PDB is you can go in here into the dashboard and you can see that it's got a pretty nice UI, but it's not as user friendly as MeSeeks is. So it's got a bunch of different blocks here that you can set up. It's got ticketing, it's got moderation like all the other bots. But the main reason why I like YAG PDB and I like to use it besides MeSeeks and Dino is because the server stats breakdown that it has for your server. Now in here, you can get a lot of different information. You can get new messages, you can get people that have joined and left so far, you can get online members, you can get total members, you can get the overall trends of each certain channel in your server. You can get a bunch of different charts too that kind of track a lot of information for your server. And I really, really like having all this data set just to kind of check and see the trends overall and over time for my server. Super nice to have, but again, YAG PDB does a little bit of everything just like all the other ones. It's got some nice fun things like a soundboard. It's got auto moderation, just as good as all the other ones. It's got a leveling system, but again, that stats thing really sets it apart in my opinion. I really like the stats breakdown for my server. So moving on over into the last category, which is gonna be more specialized bots, and we have five bots in this category, with each one of these bots doing one specific task very, very well. Now, the first bot we're gonna be talking about is reaction roles, which allows you to set up automatic roles when people react to a certain post. Now, for me in my server, I had this set up to where they have to read through a rules section and they have to react to the rules section after reading it to agree to it with a green check mark. Once they hit that green check mark, it gives them their first initial role in the server, which gives them access to the rest of the server. So that way they're a little locked out before they read the rules. Now, this isn't the only thing you can do with reaction roles. You can set it up kind of however you want. You can give people individual rules for like certain games they play or anything like that. Or if they're a streamer, if they're a YouTuber, you can give them certain rules for that by reacting to a post. Again, this is gonna be all kind of dependent on how you wanna set it up, but that's how I set it up for my server. So the next bot in this category is a bot called Kit Robot, which allows people to get a specific role once they go live with their Twitch account, if their Twitch account is attached to their Discord account. Pretty helpful to have if you have a live now role in your Discord and you wanna show who is all live currently streaming. This robot just does it all automatically so you don't have to set up the role yourself. It just checks every couple of minutes who's currently live on Twitch and then it gives them that role automatically. This bot does replace the old bot of StreamCord because StreamCord to me just goes down way too often and it isn't really reliable. Kit Robot actually replaces that one and just does it better in my opinion. So if you want a bot that can give an automatic live role, then Kit Robot is the bot you want. Now next up we have a bot called Server Stats Bot, which basically just gives you the breakdown of the current amount of people that are in your server, how many bots you have and all that. That way you don't have to go to the complete right side of the screen and count up in each category of how many people you have in your server. Really simple bot, simple to set up, but it's pretty interesting and useful to have, to have that information just right there to see exactly how many people are in your server. So the next bot that I found that is super, super helpful, which is one that I just recently found, is called Sesh. Now Sesh basically allows you to set up certain calendar invites and they adjust to people's own time zones. You can set up RSVPs so people can react to it and say that they're gonna be there at the event. Just a super, super helpful thing to organize people into certain events that you have upcoming from your Discord server. In case you have any sort of tournaments planned, you have a certain game night planned, 
streams or anything like that session is actually really, really helpful to get multiple people in multiple time zones all kind of on the right track. I cannot recommend Sesh enough. It is a super, super helpful bot. So the last bot that I recommend having, especially in any server, if it's gaming related, which on Discord it most likely is gaming related, is going to be Game Stats bot. Now with Game Stats, you have a full breakdown of all the stats of all the games you play. You have a breakdown of all the profiles that you have on different gaming platforms like Steam, Blizzard, and all that, all in one place. You just type in one command and it shows off either your previous stats in that specific game, or you can type in one command and show off exactly all of your profiles for a bunch of different platforms all at once in case a lot of people wanted to add you from there. Super organized, throws all your games in one little bot, super helpful to have. And they have a lot of coverage for a lot of different games. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up the list of the 10 best bots that you need to have in your Discord server. If you guys wanna see how any of these works in a Discord server, you can hop into mine. Link is in the description down below for that. And if you thought that I missed any Discord bots that should have been in this list, let me know in the comment section down below, or you can hop into one of my live streams and let me know live. I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Again, link is in the description down below for that. Now, if you guys found this video helpful or useful in any way, make sure you hit a like on the video. It goes a long way to spread this out to other people across YouTube. Think about subscribing to the channel if you like content just like this. And then of course, we got some relevant content for you guys to click on right here. Just go ahead and click on one of these. Really helps.